Okay, so the, to start working with, with the clicker software, and if you want to record the responses of your students and then use them uh, you know, to evaluate them, you need to create a database for your class. So that's the, the first thing that you do usually. And there are two ways to create databases. You can create it from the CPS software that is here, or by opening CPS for PowerPoint, and from the PowerPoint you can create the actual database. The, the way I usually do it is that I, at the beginning of the semester, I um, create a database from CPS. Hmm. Okay. So um, I, I create a new one, and then I'm, I'm, I'll call it a new one and then you save it wherever you like. You can save it on the desktop. It takes a while to open. You get the, uh, the help. I'm going to close this one here. I'm going to close this one here. And then you go to prepare. So you are going to prepare your actual database. And uh, to prepare, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new class, right? So you click on new class. Right. So far so good? Mm -hmm. right. And then you are going to get this, um, this box here and then you are going to say other. Mm -hmm. Don't use the other ones. The other ones is for online CPS. The other is for the standalone kits that we have here. Okay, so you click next. Do you have a username? Say no, because it's not online. And then you put your name, and they ask for your email. I'm not sure why. I'll put it anyway. Next. Class name. Okay, this is M25. And, um, there's an option for attendance, like every time they use the clicker, you can actually, by using the clicker, and if you assign specific clicker numbers to specific students, then at the same time as they are using them, it can take attendance, right? So I'm going to say display new attendance sessions in the report tab, and I'll show you the report tab later on. So I'll click next, and the rest is not important, next, and done. So I have my class and I called it N515. Now you want to add your students to that class, right? There are two ways of doing it. You can do it manually here, one student at a time, or you can import uh, a CSV file from Excel, but you have to um, uh, prepare it in a specific way, and they tell you here, you know, first column you put the, the last name, second column you put the, last, uh, the first name, third column you put uh, the um, the pad ID number. Okay. And if you set it that way, and then if you save it as a CSV file, then you can import it. I don't have a CSV yes. file. Okay. Yeah, it's from Excel. You Call save as. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you know you want to do it manually. So again, you go to new, you click new student. Okay. So this is first name, last name. <coughs> and then this is the clicker ID number. Okay, let's now move to change that to two. Oh, this one is fine. Five. Okay, so you can do it manually, or when you do the uh, when you import from from Excel, um, the CPS software will do the assign assigning of the clicker pad numbers automatically. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. All right. Uh, we can add more names. Clicker pad two. Okay. One more. Uh, and what last name man? Bernard. Bernard. Uh, three. Okay, so we have we have three here. And uh, we have our uh, our class and three students. Okay. And uh, I'm going to save it. And now I can close it. So let's say now you want to um, 
create questions. You can actually create questions from the CPS, or you can do it by using CPS for PowerPoint. Okay? I usually do it from CPS for PowerPoint. Is CPS for PowerPoint loaded onto our uh, domain computers? Yeah, both, both software are there. So when you open this one, you go to, you see the, the top uh, menu here bar, you have the last one is the CPS, one here, you click on it. You need to open the database if you want to have a session mm -hmm. in class. So open the database and then you are going to select, this is the new one, open. It's currently new, so it's like different file, why? I open another one, the one that I have here. And uh, then you go to delivery options. And that's where you can actually control, uh, once you have a question projected on screen, you can control whether you want to, um, after they finish answering the question, whether you want to uh, show the uh, percent correct, whether you want to show the correct answer or not, uh, whether you want to auto start the timer or not, um, etc. So. You choose, and then you decide the uh, the length of time that you want to give them per question. So again, this is 60 seconds. You can increase it or decrease it. And you can change the increment of, of time, increase or decrease. The other thing that uh, that I have here is the, the transparency. When you launch the PowerPoint, and then they start answering, uh, as you are going to see um, uh, in a few minutes, uh, you will have on the right side of the screen all the, the, the clicker pad numbers. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't want that to be showing, right, you can have it as a transparency. So so that's what I'm having here. Use transparency. So after one second of starting a question, those numbers would, would would become transparent. So they will not basically mask or hide any text on screen. All right. All right. And then you can uh, go check if the receiver is uh, basically detected the receiver is here and I checked that and it it gave me a check mark there it is a check mark it means that the computer detected the receiver it's very important for the computer to detect the receiver if it doesn't detect it then you can actually uh, do um, discover devices and then the system would, would look for the, the device Okay, but it's there. All right. So once you have all this, then you're fine to um, to start your session. So I'm going to open a, uh, a class. And I'm going to call it something else. So here you can, for example, this is the session session title. So depending on the topic of the day or the quiz or whatever you're giving them, uh, you name it, and then you have the option of deciding what type of session you want to have, that you want to assign to this. Is it a review session? Is it a pre-test, post-test, quiz, etc. You decide, okay? Well, so will that change anything? It's when you, uh, when you go to reports, okay. then you can select only quizzes, and then you get only the quizzes, pre-test, only the pre-test, etc. Sweet. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say this is uh, a quiz. Right? And then you have to select your class. Right? So in that case here, this is my class here. And then uh, you put OK. And then what's going to happen, you will see this bar here where you can actually control um, the timing, the start of the question, etc. So there's no question here. So when I advance, so there's a question there, right? And then you can see the start button here. Okay, so if you want to, you can give the students, you know, a few seconds to read the question if you want to, or not, or you can start the question by clicking start. All right? So I'm going to give you click and so just, just to have fun with this. Those who would like to, uh, to try it. Thank you. Works. Yeah. 
So press the, the power button, the blue one. At the bottom. At the bottom, yes. And then when you answer, let's say you want to answer A, you press A, and then you press the uh, enter button, the blue one, the enter. So let's start the, the question. You see the numbers over there in transparency? Oh, yeah. So as you, as you answer, it's going to be highlighted on screen. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm just, I'm just at random. Okay, so that was 18, take 18, yes. Which, num which clicker pad number you have? 16. 16? Yeah, yes, it took it. Yeah, it took it. It's there. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you roll over it, then you ah. can see the actual, and then when you... This is in transparency mode? It's in transparency mode. Okay. And until the timing is up, the students can change their minds? Yeah. Oh, you decide, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, there's yeah. there's one button where you can actually yeah. say, okay, one okay. attempt only, or you can, it's open. I usually leave it open for them, okay. because they're, they're talking, right? They're discussing it, etc. They're trying different things. 